Welcome to Tuts Plus. My name is Jose Mata, and this course will build a content management system using the Ruby language. You might have heard of already really famous CMSs out there, such as WordPress, Drupal, Squarespace, or even the new one, Ghost. Well, Blogger was also a CMS, but it was more directed towards a blogging experience, the first one of many. We're going to build a generic content management system based on some features available in already existing CMSs. Don't worry, this will be a very simple approach to content publishing. So what will we do exactly? Well, as I've just mentioned, we're going to build a series of different features in a Rails application that will allow us to publish content. We're going to take advantage of the Ruby language, specifically of Rails features that will allow us to accomplish this. There is a source code repository available in GitHub. It is under the simplified BSD license, so you can use it and modify it according to your need. Check the link below in order to download the source code and follow along the entire process of building this. Of course, we encourage you to do this on your own, so you try to keep it up step by step, doing it on your own so you can learn better instead of just following it. This is kind of an advanced course. You should be familiarize yourself with the Ruby language and with using Ruby on Rails. If you're not up to it, go ahead and check other courses first. We have loads of different content on those beginner topics. Once you're done, feel free to come back in. You will need a Ruby version, preferably Ruby 2, and also the fourth version of Rails. You can use gem install Rails, and you should be up to par. If you don't have Ruby installed either, then go ahead and check the links on installing Ruby or a Ruby version manager. So let's get started right away. Jump into the next lesson to learn about what exactly is a content management system and what we will do exactly. I'll see you soon.